Hey guys, so once again, I'm in the Aldwood Mall area Getting to do another comic book haul at this comic shop It's not actually called the comic stop because I think the owner forgot to change the sign They want to waste money, but it's actually called subspace comics So let's go get it Be quiet cure Welcome back to my channel, it's the Asian Phenom, back with another comic book haul video. Let's see what I purchased over the weekend. It looks like I went back to the comic stop. What's up with that? One day is like some space comics, one day is the comic stop. So they need to make up their mind what the name of the store is. But it looks like I paid $4.75. There are 19 comics in this comic book haul. Let's see what I have. So make sure that if you guys see anything valuable, I basically already checked the value of these on comicspriceguide.com. Nothing really stood out amongst the sets, but if you see anything, make sure you hit me up in the comment section. So let's get started. We have DC Comics Hawk and Dove number three. This came out in 1989, so relatively pretty old. You have X Factor number 200, and this is definitely one of these thicker comics. Check out the cover price, $4.99, and I paid 25 cents. You cannot beat that deal. We have Marvel One Shot Spitfire. I have no idea who Spitfire is. Does she even belong to a superhero group? What are her powers? I really need to start reading all my comics, but I have so many in my collection now. We have Eclipse Comics, Saber number issue number one. Um, I don't have many Eclipse Comics, and this might be my only one. Who knows? And we have Savage Dragon number zero. The reason why I picked this is because I already have issue number one. So when I saw issue number zero, 25 cents, might as well get it. So I'm going to read about his origin. And I'm surprised that they still make Savage Dragon comics. I didn't know it was that popular. And DC Comics presents Jack Cross 100 Page Spectacular. And I believe this collects all three or four of the limited series. Check out the price. $7.99. Would you have paid 8 bucks when this came out? I wouldn't have. Not even for half the price of that. But I only got for 25 cents. Here's a quick preview. So what I'm basically doing now is like reading some comic books before I go to bed. Just to get me, you know, all relaxed. And we have The Incredible Hercules. What number is this? 132. It looks like something to do with Thor. The Replacement Thor Part 1. The reason why I picked this up is because, hey, it sounded like something that would be valuable. And... Issue number 136, Hercule Thor versus Thor Cules. Sound pretty corny to me, but I'm digging the artwork. Marvel is trying, alright? Can't complain. DC Comics, Green Lantern number 58. Don't get fooled by the price right there. I only pay 25 cents. This came out in the 95? Yeah, 95. Chaos Valley. Condition is almost like mints. It's wrapped up in plastic. Okay, number 59. We have DC Universe Holiday Special 2010 one shot. Just take a quick look. I sure as heck wouldn't have paid five four ninety nine for this when it first came out. Alright, another number one, Marvel. Captain Universe with Daredevil, the man without fear. Is that a new character? Who knows? The future begins here in Marvel Point One. Oh, I forgot who this guy is called. Something to do with Galactus. And the cover price is five ninety nine. It's one of these one shot deals. Can't wait to read it. 
All right, the Infernal Man thing, limited series one of three. We have Billy the Kid's Old Timey Oddities, one of four, representing Dark Horse Comics. And here is the oldest one from the set, 1983 Marvel The New Defenders. If you guys have checked out my previous comic book hauls, I have like um, Defenders like in the 20s maybe or even teens that I got from Half Price Books. So it lasted until I think around like 150 years before they decided to cancel it. The New Avengers issue number 17, I purely bought this because of the awesome artwork and I don't even know what which Spider-Man this is, and since when did Daredevil become part of Avengers? And with referring to, Marvel was trying to shake things up, that's for sure. We have Jack the Lantern, War of the Soul, one of these, um, is this called a graphic novel? Trade paperback? It's definitely not a trade paperback. $5.95, only paid $0.25. Cents. It's one of these black and white comic book deals. All right, and we get, oh, wait, that's not last one. And this is just the America, what does that say? I can't even read that. And Athema? $5.95. Crazy cover price. We get to last but not least, 128 pages of Marvel awesomeness. Marvel, your universe featuring X-Men. Number one. Let's take a quick glance. And I believe they have other teams too, such as one for the Avengers. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this quick, although kind of unspectacular comic book haul video. I'll probably be hitting up more of these independent, privately owned uh, comic book stores. See if I can find any good deals. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Happy collecting.